It is well known that our universe has dimensions, or a number of position coordinates by which it can be measured. Length, height, and width. In other words, these are measurements that put bounds on the universe that is known to us. Multidimensional space turns out to be more concentrated in terms of informational and energy capacities. At one point of space, a higher dimension may be the concentrated information of all the other layers of reality of the lower dimensions. Is it possible to discover that most inaccessible fourth dimension? And what does contact with it change in our world? If we ponder it for a while, we may possibly succeed in finding the answers. Simply stated, if you place a cube in front of you, then you won't see its backside, since vision is two-dimensional. If the cube begins to rotate, then the brain analyzing it will understand that it is a cube and that there is a backside. But what our brain knows is one thing, and how it is seen by the eyes is another. If our vision were three-dimensional, then we would see the cube simultaneously from all sides, like a scanner at an airport. We would see all of space in its entirety, and nothing could be hidden from us. That is to say, we must observe from without, as if we are watching a movie or even our own dream in which we can sometimes evaluate ourselves from the sidelines. Indeed, if we were to live in a two-dimensional space, on a flat plane, we would have to stretch our imagination considerably in order to think of how to move a rectangle off of the flat plane on which we live. Well, conceptualizing a four-dimensional space is also quite difficult for us. A three-dimensional space is a space in which the position of a point is designated, as we have already said, by three numbers. For example, the position of an aircraft is indicated by longitude, latitude, and altitude above sea level. In a four-dimensional space, an object corresponds to a four-number coordinate. A four-dimensional cube is obtained by sliding an ordinary cube along in a particular direction that doesn't lie within our three-dimensional space. Where this direction is, or how to transcend our limits, is difficult to say, as well as to perceive. But use your imagination and indulge in fantasy, and why not? Often, this type of four-dimensional cube is called a tesseract, the equivalent of a usual three-dimensional cube, generalized in a four-dimensional space. Try to picture the properties of a hypothetical 4D space. To begin with, we need to understand if a fourth orthogonal axis is feasible in the coordinate system, and if so, where is it located? Indeed, for us, our familiar three-dimensional space is associated with three axes of the coordinate system. And if we can't even imagine something, that is, mentally create its corresponding image, does that then mean this something does not exist? It appears so. This poses the question, why exactly are there three spatial dimensions, no more and no less? It is apparent, because the atom, and along with it all the rest of matter, has precisely three spatial characteristics, length, width, and height. What characterizes these three attributes of space? Naturally, the spread of tangible objects in three possible directions. Forward, back, left, right, up, down. The usual pattern for a kangaroo. Is it possible to see something from the fourth dimension? Most likely, yes. But it will only be a projection, a part of what it really is. That is, for inhabitants in a one-dimensional existence, a line, any two-dimensional beings would be perceived merely as component parts of one dimension. Whatsoever transcends the bounds of this dimension won't be noticed, as the eyes are already out of the picture. In the same way, the inhabitants of a two-dimensional space, a flat plane, can see the inhabitants of a three-dimensional space only in the form of their two-dimensional imprints, or projections. They also simply don't see anything in the third dimension. This means, if a person were to end up in this two-dimensional space, then in the best-case scenario, the local inhabitants of the flat plane would become acquainted with his footprints, and in the worst case, his cross-section. But, if a fourth dimension does exist, then what would creatures or life look like on another world? In order to answer this question, we need to imagine, how would the space of our world change if it became four-dimensional? 
it's logical to assume that an additional side would appear, in which movement is possible, and a restructuring of configuration at an atomic level would begin. The electrons around the nuclei of atoms, having received an unrestricted new side, will begin to rotate in the fourth direction. The nucleus of the atom will also be restructured, and the chemical properties of the elements will change, which of course will fatally split all forms of 3D life. Meanwhile, after the restructuring of atoms in the fourth dimension, our planet Earth will be only one atom in thickness, but the Earth's mass will remain the same as it was in the three-dimensional space, due to which it will collapse in the fourth dimension under the weight of its own mass, and in the end, form a four-dimensional hypersphere. The same will happen to the Sun and the other planets and stars. Gravity will begin to spread out into the new direction, due to which there will be a chaotic change in the orbits of all of the celestial bodies in the entire universe. Ultimately, after a catastrophic restructuring, everything will stabilize, and there will be a new universe. True, nothing living on it up to that moment will remain. How many dimensions are there beyond our perception? For now, it remains a mystery. In the meantime, the world truly is multidimensional. Based upon a mathematical hypothesis, an infinite number of spatial dimensions can exist. Modern physics also adheres to this logic, only it is impossible to count the number of these types of dimensions. But owning to the understanding of at least a few of the additional dimensions, we would obtain a good tool for managing the world around us.